Hello, fans of Beyond All Reason. I am your host today, Seto Kaiva, and we are watching a game on Quicksilver. Um, I don't yet know why I'm exactly doing this. You will see what I mean in just a second here. It's me! <laughs> yes, I play this game too. And I am facing Barafael. Or Barafael, not Barafael, I'm not sure how you would want to pronounce that. So I'm doing my best here. So someone in the chat suggested to me that I should try to cast one of my own games to um, maybe show a little, little of the do's and don'ts. Uh, thing is, I do quite a few of the don'ts. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm not really that good of a player. But uh, we're going to see me try my level best to not make an ass of myself. So, without further ado, I'm going to just get right into it. And I know what I'm doing, so I'm also going to take a look and try not to just jump the cursor around this time. Okay. Oh yes, trying to, me trying to say good luck in German. I hope I got that right. Because my opponent looks like he's from Germany. The region checks out. Bye, Raphael is going, he's queued up quite a few things already. He's got one wind generator to three, no, three wind generators to one max. In second max, he's going to chain into a K-Bot lab. Oh wait, no, Stellar first. Okay, yeah, that looks like a good build for me for that. Me, I am focusing on pretty much the same, but I'm gonna go vehicles here. Got two, vet, two maxes very close together so I can protect them with a one LLT. I build that first, so that I can then build this, and I can protect that with another LLT. I can close off this entire little peninsula, and nothing will be able to get through. So, I don't know why this is lagging so much. I'm sorry, there's nothing nothing I can really do here. My Radeon drivers are fine. It's just, <clears throat> it's not wanting to cooperate today. Okay, a Raphael. Okay, yes, um, since the latest patch, uh, more like gigantic snowball of an update, uh, they renamed a lot of the units, so peewees are no longer peewees, they are called pawns. Pawns have pretty much the same kind of stats as they always did, they're just names are changed so they don't run into copyright issues with uh, Cave Dog Studios, so, hmm. Oh yes, by the way, I'm not promoting them in any way, shape, or form here. I'm just... This is a completely unrelated game. It's just using it for entertainment purposes. So, I have built my vehicle lab. I'm getting out construction vehicles before any tanks, before any scouts, which um, normally I'm better than that. I've kind of messed that up. I should have built scouts first to see what my enemy's doing. I could have put one like right here on this land to be able to see with its incredible range what exactly is going on and at least um, confirm his base. But Raphael, though, is already kind of making a bit of a mistake there with guarding one max with two towers. Two towers. And in a bit of a weird position there. I think I've mentioned this before, but if you build your towers in this kind of formation, then your enemy comes from this side, only one of them gets to shoot. And that's not really good. So... He has sent one Peewee, does not find my base because no base exists. So he knows there's only two other places that I could be. I could be in the southeast, or I could be on this plateau over here, and building up a safe spot. But if I did that, I would be pretty much very, very easy to lock in. But here I have expansion opportunities to the north. I have this ramp right here to be able to expand it into the sea. There are metal extractors placed down here. Okay. He has run afoul of my LLTs, my guards, as they're called now. The, uh... I need to be... Yes, I've got a nano here. I, I, I expected he was going to try and attack, so I was ready to repair the LLT. But uh, I've stalled my construction a little bit here. I do have one construction building down here, capturing mexes on the very, very safe peninsula. The Kanbots uh, and bots, they don't have anything that can go through water, except anti-air bots. Anti-air bots are the only thing. But I'm not building any air, so that'd be useless. <clears throat> what do we have? Yes, I'm making right. No, I'm making another LLT because I suspect that he might 
Yeah, I've got a decent enough range. If he tries to hit one, it's covering the other two. If he tries to do that, I suspect a Pee Wee Rush, that will take care of like four or five from any direction until I'm able to expand a bit more. Build up an exploiter. Yep. Okay, what's Bar Raphael doing? See, I think in this game I ceded a lot of map control to him. But Raphael, he, uh, yeah, he's expanding nakedly at first, but he's going to be building up a little too many turrets, but turrets nonetheless. That's going to slow him down a bit, but he's still going to be capping much more land. Um. <laughs> okay, dude, Lee, I don't know what that means. So, yes, I'm chasing down the, um, the pawns, the infantry bots, with my... What are they? Incisors. Incisor tanks. They have much more range. There we go. I should have a scout with them. And I build a couple later on. I just, uh... Okay. There's my muskrat. Yep, there is my uh, amphibious construction vehicle going into the water to go ahead and get the Mexis. Now, the um, bots don't have a construction bot that can go underwater, so they're kind of messed up. Up, oh, my exploiter has found that pawn dead. I am now reclaiming the dead pawns with my vehicle. My vehicles here are completing the mop up. Mm hmm. Very good. <coughs> Raphael now has a um, pretty good economy going, really. He's got several wind generators, but he's not so heavy on energy. Then again, neither am I. Uh, <laughs> I did queue up some, but I think one of my mistakes this game, I didn't queue up nearly as much as I should have. It's a um, major beef. So, yes, I do take my con up, come up this way kind of relying a bit on my radar to see anything coming because I think he's going to come from this way because I now know that's where his um, units were moving from so he wouldn't have anything to see me this way Ex unless it was a flea I should have expected fleas but he didn't make any not this early so but Raphael looks like he's setting up his second base here he's got his commander so he has 300 build power ready to build the next things do I see radar? I'm not sure if I see radar, actually. I don't see a single radar tower. At oh, wait. There's one up there on the top left. But it's a little too far back. <clears throat> okay, he's doing a probing attack with pawns, but my tanks managed to uh, root it out. My vehicle immediately, immediately reclaims the wrecks. And then it's going to go southwest. Yes. It's going to go build a radar tower and then capture those extractors. Start expanding now. I'm trying, see, I've got a nice little hard point here, and if he tries to go around on either side, he is pincered between these towers that will cover each other, and if he goes through here, he's got my commander to worry about. So, I've got multi-layered like defense in depth. I'm not relying so much on spread out turrets. So. Yes, being pincer is the last thing you want in this game due to flanking damage bonuses. Okay, yes, there it is. I knew it. He's making vehicle plant and fl flash tanks. What? Yep. It looked like a scout from this high up. <laughs> so, I don't see dino turrets yet. I have one. That's like one of the first things I built. I have two. Yes. I'm... Mm, yeah, I'm stalling very, very hard on energy, which I should not be. I have so m Oh my god. How do I have this much metal? How do I even have this much metal? It's insanity. I should be making solars like crazy. I couldn't be reclaiming that much, can I? No. Surely not. Okay. Doing a scout. Yes. Scout immediately sees that. So, okay, as soon as I see that, I turn around. I know he's got naked constructors here. Okay, levelers. One of the first things I built when um, I saw he was having bots. 
If the bot mass gets up, then Merling Leveler's forward will be able to destroy everything. Except maybe, yeah, maybe not the um, plasma bots or rocket bots if they start moving up. Oh, yep. Then I see the medium tanks, and I do one of the cardinal sins of pro beyond all reason play. I actually build a wall. Be afraid, kids. Be very afraid. This guy is crazy. <laughs> Say bye bye to your expansion for all of one max. Now, I should have seen this constructors moving south, but hmm. oh, yep. I think this was a mistake here. I think I, yeah, I got wiped because of these peewees or pawns, whichever. But oh, I completely missed that. I've got um, guard pikes moving through the water, completely unnoticed because radar will not detect submarine units. And they will be able to roll up that beach and kill what they can there. Janus tanks. Oof. Unmicroed Janus tanks, though. So, I'm able to get a hold of them and kill them just by chasing them down. But, I'm building up my wall, which is extremely important because as I expand, I want to leave as little ground to defend as possible. I don't want to have to build so many turrets or move my vehicles over so much ground. I can just leave holes here for my units to go through, but I'm building walls to cover everything else. All this open ground, he won't be able to move anything through here now. He'll have to stop to shoot through it or come to deal with my turrets or my units, which are only a few seconds behind. Getting between enemy tanks and your base is the difference between a dead base or a whole field full of dead reclaim for you to scoop up. Very, very important. That's why walls are good. <clears throat> oh, my heavy hitters. Strutting these tanks. Okay, they're running right into bots now. Okay, this is not a match you ever, ever want to have. When you're bots, you don't ever want to run headlong into tanks and levelers, especially not levelers. They will murder you. They will absolutely murder you. But of course, I'm not going to let him bait me. That's what I don't want to have happen. I don't want to move so far forward that the reclaim is too far out. I'm thinking like a pirate here. I want to claim everything that dies so that I can make more units. If he kill if he sends units to die in my territory, I win. I win. It doesn't matter how much map control he has, if all the units he makes with that map control get killed in my territory, I win. Hmm. Yes. Oh, yep. Okay. Yes, there we go. My amphibious tanks now moving up. And I kind of forgot there was another beach here I could move through too, but... Hmm. They will be able to do some damage. Now. Oh boy. Now, here is the incredibly embarrassing part of this game. I... I metal glued. I... I metal exceeded. I exceeded my metal. And I'm completely wasting everything over that cap now. So I actually have to make a storage to hold all that metal. I should be making more nano turrets to use it faster. And I'm not doing that. I think... I think why I have this much... Wait. Is there like an economy factor here? Or am I just that good? Hang on. How many mechs do I have? One, two, three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Oh, wait, no. I do have enough to get 30 metal. Okay, yes. I wasn't sure. Okay, my amphibious tanks were able to find his expansion here and kill it, but, um, ran afoul of his base. Still, it's only. It's a lot of attention that I took away from him. Okay, chase down units. Okay, see, immediately I bring my vehicles in to scoop up that graveyard. Immediately. But, of course, then I'm wasting it all. I wasn't watching. It's good that I'm doing that, but I needed to be queuing up more Echo. I needed more Nanos. I needed more, 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 more production. I need to be pushing metal as fast as I get it. 
as fast as I get it. More solars. More metal banked. Metal is key. Now, I, I think here I push back. I don't push back a pull. Yes, yes. So I realize I'm sending things too close. And even if I kill something up here, he gets to reclaim for it. I can't let that happen. I can't, I gotta get back. I gotta get back for this too, this too much. Because he has too much fire coming my way too. I need a lot more artillery. Okay. So, now I'm gonna do a baiting action here, I think, yes. I'm trying to get my tanks to separate. Okay, as soon as he moves, he's trying to get a line. Then my tanks double back and flank. Yes. I get a surround on him, faster than him, so I'm able to do this. Now he thinks he's going to come in the opposite side of my base, but he's going to run right into a brick wall, literally. Poor guy. Oh, my tanks, yep, I, I made a control glitch there. Oh boy, sorry buddy. Sorry, you ran right into my concrete wall. <laughs> okay. Trying to go through the front. But eat the leveler fire. Eat the leveler fire, yes. I don't have the energy for a disintegrator gun though. But I, I, did you see how much damage that was though? He left my levelers alive, like three or four levelers smashing his whole army with AOE. Smashing him to pieces and now I have all of that metal, all of those units for reclaim is mine. And now my raiders have broken through. They zoomed around as bots, as slow bots, and are attacking his expansions. Going right into that bot lab. Now I have got to build up my forces, got to build up my echo, my production. I have four nanos now, much, much better. Okay. Kill that turret. Kill that bot lab, please. Yes. Oh man. Blow up, kill the nano too. Yes! Yes! Exactly. And now see? See all those units? There were a lot more wrecks here before. Oh, where'd they go? They're all in my bank. All that metal's in my bank. <laughs> and even though I'm pushing so much into units now, I have so much more coming in. I'm reclaiming, reclaiming, reclaiming. Everything he sends at me, I vacuum up. <clears throat> and now. Now I'm starting to get map control. Starting to own as much as I can. Oh yep, yeah, there I go, T2. I've, I've reclaimed my old vehicle and I'm gluting 4,000 plus metal. See, okay, I, I don't mean to sound like I'm being good here because I'm being terrible, really. I'm just, I'm hanging on. I'm doing what I can, I'm trying to adapt, trying to hold, but I'm making so many mistakes here that I should not be making, so. Yeah, <laughs> I would imitate the walls, maybe, and trying to have battles where I can control the reclaim. But yeah, I'm I'm terrible on the economy, on the balance between micro and macro, honestly. So <laughs> just pulled disclosure there. So let's get us some reapers, shall we? Or oh, tigers. Okay. Oh, tiger tanks like German. Perfect. What's he got? Back to flash tanks, I guess he's... I haven't seen any resurrection bots or any re or any construction vehicles in reclamation, did he? And that's bad. He need to have reclaim. That's probably why his, his economy stagnated. I mean, despite having map control, he's not reclaiming metal. I have been reclaiming and using his economy to pay for my stuff, basically. <laughs> That's why I said think like a pirate. Your enemy wins the game for you if you just kill his units and vacuum them up. So, I have my fortress um, kind of sort of a built. No turrets, but uh, at this stage, tanks would just kind of run over those. So, I just make more tanks. That is my answer. Okay, he's going to kill this expansion, but by now, it's a little bit late for that. Yeah. Okay. Oh yes. Um, heavy tanks just run right over dragon's teeth. I could have reclaimed those, but 
<laughs> you know what? It's cooler if I just roll straight out. Make your enemy think that you're blocked in by your own wall. Crunch. <laughs> and there is my light tank force. Well, not my light tanks, but my tier one tanks. Coming in from the flank. Starting to dismantle his factory. So... The one thing I, I should have done differently, though, I didn't bring any construction vehicles that time. For all my talk about Reclaim, I think it's because I started gluting too much that I thought I don't need it anymore. But I always want to bring vehicles with me when I can. Always want that Reclaim. So, I did spot his commander come up this way. So I bring my radar vehicle for a scout. Then I bring my Tiger tanks. And we are about to see a boom, I think. But what we might we see first? I think... Okay, he's built bombers over here in the southwest. That would have been good to have around the 10-minute mark-ish. Bomb my wind generators would be a really big blow. I didn't see it coming at all. Oh, yes. <laughs> I doubled back with my heavy tanks because um, I saw his, his tanks coming here. That would have been dangerous, but... Um, not like that. You don't have... A, a ghost of a chance against heavy tanks. Oh, good game, Raphael. That uh, was pretty good try. I uh, think I did. A, I think I did okay. Uh, this would never have worked against a pro. This would never ever have worked against a pro. Period. Let's just get that out of the way. Never. I mean, they would have punished this so so hard. They would have expanded fast, got all the maxes, and just wiped me out in minutes if I just stayed here like this. But, you know, I have to have a balance. It's just my problem. I have a balance problem between micro and macro, between controlling forces in the field and building my base at home. So I find it's more comfortable to put all my stuff in one corner and just wall it up and then advance out, push out slowly, but also, also make attacks like this, like here, just try to strike out where I can, when I can. And I think I did, I think I did okay. But, um, not great. So, the dragon's teeth, though, that was my favorite part of the whole game. I love using these because no one ever uses them, and they always get overlooked. But they saved my base from getting flanked, saved my, my vehicle factory, my nanos from getting flanked, and made them push right through my turrets, so I'm very, very happy. These turrets didn't even die. They stayed to be able to shoot what was ever coming to the door, see? You get shot by these, you get shot by these where you're coming in. That's defense in depth. That's making your enemy push through layer after layer after layer. That's what I try to do. But, you know, I don't always do it right, so <laughs> it's great when it does happen. But, great game, and I am guess I'm happy I get to show this one. I'm trying to be, um, it's a good exercise in self-deprecation, I guess. But it's also, uh, it's fun. I'm, I may do this again, but, um... I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>